Slam that like button if you love cookies. I love cookies. I'll slam the like button. Mmm, delicious. In this video. Um, I was wondering if, um, maybe perhaps I could have a sleepover? Hmm, well, you have been a very good kid. So, I say yes. Wow. Really? Hooray! Thank you so much, Mom. Who are you going to invite, honey? I'm thinking I'm going to invite Rosie. Good luck. You invite her like every other week and she never comes to any of your sleepovers. I don't even know why you're still friends with her. Molly, don't be rude. Hey, Rosie. Good morning. Oh, hey, Daisy. Um, what was your weekend like? Okay, does your mom not want you to ever sleep over at my house ever? Why are the lights out at the school? You never want to sleep over at my house. Are we even friends? I, I, I just can't, okay? I had a good reason, but I don't want to lose you as my best friend. You're just like me, a flower. That's right. Molly, aren't you supposed to be doing your chores? Uh, yeah, but I just sat down to watch some TV. Molly, you've been watching TV off and on all day when you're not playing Roblox. Uh, I guess I'll do all the chores for you. Oh, that's sweet of you, Daisy, but I'm sure Molly can do some, too. No, Mom, it's all right. I'll do them all. I don't mind. Oh, world's best sister. Uh-huh, sure. Mom, now that I did all the chores, um, I was wondering if, um... Maybe perhaps I could have a sleepover? Hmm, well, you have been a very good kid. So, I say yes. Wow. Really? Hooray! Thank you so much, Mom! Who are you going to invite, honey? I think I'm going to invite Rosie. Good luck. You invite her like every other week and she never comes to any of your sleepovers. I don't even know why you're still friends with her. Molly, don't be rude. Yeah, Molly, just because he doesn't want to come to my sleepover. Like... Ever. Does it mean that she doesn't want to be my friend? I think. It's okay, Daisy. Maybe she just has a reason why she doesn't want to come to your sleepover. Yeah, like she doesn't like you that much, Daisy, but she doesn't want to tell you that. Molly! Molly, why don't you go to your room for a little bit and think about being nice to your sister. Okay! That's where Roblox is anyway. Bye! Ooh. Ugh, don't pay any attention to your sister. Sometimes she just has no filter. I do, but I can't help but wonder if she's right, Mom. I mean, maybe my new BFF doesn't really like uh -oh. me. Uh-oh! I wouldn't say that, Daisy. Try asking her again today. Maybe you'll have better luck. I sure hope so, Mom. I sure hope so. Hey, Rosie. I was... Wondering if you wanted to come for a sleepover tomorrow. After school, of course. I'm sure she'll let me back any minute now. La 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 la. Hmm, I wonder if she takes me back. What? No new texts? She probably hasn't seen it yet. Ow. I'll just do a little bit of my homework. And I bet when I'm all done, she'll have texted me back that she definitely wants to come to a sleepover at my house tomorrow night. One hour later. Ah, <sighs> that was a ton of homework. I wonder if Rosie texts me back. What? No messages? Ooh. What, is her phone broken or something? Ay, ay, ay. She's just not texting me back. Uh, Daisy, I don't think she likes you. <gasps> Molly, quit being so rude. Did you just slam the door to my room? Daisy! Well, you're being rude. She does like me. We're like BFFs and everything. Daisy, is everything okay? You're just playing with your food. You're not really eating it. You're pushing it around on your plate. You're staring at it, but you're not actually eating it. And this is one of your favorite meals. What's going on, hon? I'm just not that hungry, I guess. May I be excused? Uh, I really wish you'd eat some of your vegetables. They're good for you. No, thank you. I just don't want me right now. She's just sad because Rosie never texted her back about her sleepover. Still? Hmm. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusions, honey. I'm sure it's nothing. Or it's something, but probably nothing to do with you. Yeah, right. 
Molly, oh my gosh. You're making your sister more upset. Yeah, Molly. Jeepers, I'm sure she'll text me. I just know it. Two hours later. Seriously? She still hasn't texted me? She's not my best friend. Oh, Daisy, why don't you talk to her at school tomorrow? Maybe she's just sick with the flu or something. Yeah, you're probably right. Don't listen to your sister, Molly. She's just trying to cause trouble. Talk to your new friend tomorrow, and I'm sure she'll come to your sleepover. Good night, sweetheart. Good day, Mom. Thanks for talking to me about this. You're welcome, honey. Sweet dreams. Honey, what are you doing? It's time for school. Playing some Roblox on my phone, duh. Oh, look who it is. It's Rosie, your frenemy. She's not my frenemy. She's my, my BFF. Your BFF never wants to do anything with you, Daisy. Okay, she does stuff with me. She just doesn't go to sleepovers. I'm sure it's a big misunderstanding. Go away, Molly. Hey, Rosie, good morning. Oh, hey, Daisy. Um, what was your weekend like? Um, well, it would have been better if you answered me about sleeping over tonight. My mom said yes. Oh, sorry, uh, I can't sleep over tonight. How about the next night? No, I can't sleep over the next night either. Okay, does your mom not want you to ever sleep over at my house ever? Why are the lights out at the school? I don't know. That's really creepy. Are we going to be getting a storm soon? No, I just think the janitor forgot to change the light bulbs. Anyway, I, I, I don't understand why you never want to sleep over at my house. Are we even friends? Um, I, I, I just can't, okay? Fine, oh wait, fine. I guess we aren't friends at all. Whoa, Daisy, I heard that whole thing. Molly, why are you eavesdropping? Well, I sort of was just walking to class, but then my foot fell asleep. No, it didn't, Molly. You were just listening. Daisy, I just, I don't want you to get hurt anymore. It seems like she just doesn't want to be your friend. She does want to be my friend. I just need to beg her more to, to come to the sleepover. I'm going to text her and beg her. Daisy, listen to me. I gotta do it. Daisy, you really did beg her in text. Yes, Molly. Desperate times come with desperate measures. Besides, I like Rosie. We're so much alike. We're both nerds. We both love the color pink. Ay, ay, ay. My sister will never listen to me. Ooh. Hi, Daisy. Why do you want? I thought we were gonna be friends anymore. Look, Daisy. Mmm, this chocolate milk is super good today. I, I'm sorry that I never said yes to your sleepover. I had a good reason, but I don't want to lose you as my best friend. You're just like me, a flower. That's right. My name is Daisy, just like the flower. That's right. My name is Rosie, just like the flower. We were meant to be BFFs. So, yes, I'll come to your sleepover tonight. Really? Do you need it? Yeah. <laughs> you just seem really nice, so I trust that you won't make fun of me if something goes wrong at the sleepover. What? What could go wrong at the sleepover? It's a sleepover. It's going to be so fun. Uh-huh. Yep. It sure will be. Lots of fun. As long as you stay my BFF. Of course, Rosie. We're like two beautiful flowers in the garden together. Daisy, why don't you slam the door in my face? Because you're not ruining this sleepover. You want to try to tell me that my best friend wasn't my best friend. Sleep outside in a tent. Daisy, open this door right now or I'm texting mom. You better not ruin my sleepover. Uh-oh. All right, I'm just saying that Rosie was acting kind of weird. I knew I should have locked her out. Daisy, are you making any delicious food for this sleepover? No. Mom gave me permission to order DoorDash. Wow. She didn't say you could eat any. What? I'm sure she's going to let me have some of it. Uh-huh. I don't think so. Let's see. What do I want to order from DoorDash? Ooh, there's so many delicious things. Pizza, popcorn, ice cream, chocolate chip cookies, cheeseburgers. Oh, yeah. I'm going to order all of this. I'm totally ordering all of it. I'm celebrating because... This is the first sleepover I've had with my BFF. Would you order me, Daisy? Huh? 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 I ordered you. Close your eyes. Okay. What do you see? 
Nothing. Exactly, that's what I ordered you. Daisy! <laughs> well, I just want to let you know that Brookie comes over all the time as my best friend, and she never stands me up for any sleepover ever. Well, good for you. Isn't that so perfect? But right now, I have to get ready because my BFF's coming over. I want to see what movies are on. Tour Dash is going to be here soon. Cooking channel? No, no, no. Ooh, gymnastics. That'd be fun to watch. She's here! Hi, Rosie. Come on in. Oh, hi, Daisy. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about this sleepover. What? Who gets nervous about a sleepover? It's going to be so fun. Yeah, I hope so. Don't worry. I'm an expert at giving amazing sleepovers. You can have so much fun. Oh, I think the door dash is here. Ooh, this sauce smells so good. I hope you're hungry, Rosie. I got so much stuff from door dash. I'm starving. What'd you get? Pizza, cheeseburgers, hot dogs, popcorn, ice cream. Oh my gosh. How are we going to eat all that? And I got soda, orange soda. I know that's your favorite. Oh, that is my favorite, but I, I can't drink anything. What? what? Why? Aren't you thirsty? Yeah, but I'll have something to drink tomorrow morning. <laughs> Don't be silly. I got orange soda, your favorite. And we can make orange soda floats with vanilla ice cream. Ooh, they're like root beer floats, but you put orange soda in. They're so good. I'm making you one right now. Wait, Daisy, I said I can't drink anything till tomorrow. It'll be okay, Rosie. Trust me. Try it, Rosie. It's so delicious. Mmm, so good. Wow, it is really good. Ugh, I probably shouldn't drink any more of it, though. Don't be ridiculous. You had a sleepover. Live it up, girl. Live it up. Hey, did anybody leave me any George Ash food? Oh, uh, yeah, Molly. There's some scraps over there in the kitchen. Hey, Molly. Hey, Rosie. Glad you could finally come to a sleepover. Molly, go away. You're annoying. Uh, I live here, Daisy. So, newsflash, I'm going to be here. Uh, but could you be quiet a little bit? Because we're watching this movie. I love this movie so far, Daisy. It's really good. I know, right? I love it, too. Hey, hey, hey. Down in front, we can't see what's gonna happen. <laughs> Molly! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. My sister's so embarrassing. I wanted this sleepover to be absolutely perfect. Don't worry, Daisy. <laughs> I don't care if your sister's here or not. See? She doesn't care. Mm, this is delicious. Even if it is just leftover DoorDash. Cute pajamas, I love them. I love polar bears on them. Wow, they're super cute, Daisy. So, um, where should I sleep? Oh, you can just sleep in the bed with me if you want. We could share. My bed is huge. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll just sleep on the floor or in the bathtub or something. <laughs> the bathtub? Don't be ridiculous. Do you sleep in a bathtub at home? Are you a mermaid and I don't know it? <laughs> no, I'm just saying I don't want to take up your bed. I roll around a lot. I'm kind of a bed hog. Don't be ridiculous. Come on, we're best friends. We could chill. Um, uh, 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 what are you having and hawing about? Come on, you need your booty rest. Come on. Oh, I make pancakes in the morning. What are you doing, Dom I, I like to sleep on the floor. Your bed is way too soft. Seriously, that is so uncomfortable. My bed is the most comfortable ever. Just go to sleep, seriously. Ah, okay. Oh, I am pretty tired. B2. Why is my bed all wet? Um, uh, um, uh. Rosie, are you okay? Rosie, stay out, Daisy. Ew, something smells kind of weird. Ew. Ew, it's my bed. What? Did the dog come up here and pee on my bed or something? Rosie, are you okay? Rosie, Rosie. <gasps> Rosie, what are you doing? 
Are you wearing baby Kira's diaper? What are you doing? Are you pretending to be a baby? No! <laughs> I just am a baby! <laughs> what? You're not a baby. We're the same age. What are you talking about? I... I... This is why I never wanted to stay over at your house! Oh. <laughs> Rosie, what's wrong? You can talk to me about anything. I'm your best friend. I promise I won't judge you. I... I have this problem where I haven't grown out of wetting the bed yet. Say what? <gasps> I know. It's so embarrassing. But it happens to some people. It's just part of something that's happening to my body. Oh... Rosie, I'm so sorry I freaked out. I didn't know that's what was happening. You should have just told me and we would have put down some plastic or something. I'm so humiliated. Don't worry. I wouldn't tell anybody. Daisy, what are you wearing? I'm wearing an adorable outfit that I borrowed for my BFF. Well, I have to admit, that hamster shirt is pretty adorable. Thank you. I feel like a total fashionista. Hey, Daisy, did you tell anybody about last night? Of course I wouldn't tell anybody, Rosie. It's our little secret that you pee the bed. Thanks. I'm glad you haven't told anybody because it's humiliating. Well, you don't have to be humiliated about me. I'm your BFF no matter what. Besides, it's not your fault. <laughs> Isn't that a juicy little piece of news? <laughs> I got it on Snapchat, too. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite class first thing in the morning. Mine, too. This is why we're BFS, because we both love science so much. Oh, look, I got a snap. It's from Sarah. Oh, I left my phone in my locker. What's it say? Oh my god. <laughs> what? What? What happened, Rosie? What's wrong? Oh, no. That I wet the bed. Oh my god, she was recording us! OMG, I knew I shouldn't have come to your house for a sleepover. This is all your fault! What? My fault? I didn't take the Snapchat of us talking. Sarah, how could you? <laughs> well, little Miss Puddles, <laughs> I had to expose her secret. You are such a bully! Rosie, wait! Rosie! I wonder where she went. Hey, look! It's Puddles! Puddles! <laughs> oh, don't make fun of me! It's not my fault! <laughs> hey, guys, have you seen um, Rosie? You mean Puddles? Don't call her that! That's rude! Like, you don't have anything wrong with you, Ethel? You're not perfect! We're all human! What? Don't talk to me that way. Of course I'm perfect. I'm a bad guy. Well, you're bad at being nice. Goodbye. <laughs> Rosie? I can hear her crying. Rosie? <laughs> there you are, Rosie. Oh, man, Rosie. I'm sorry about all this. I'm sorry that I accused you. It really wasn't your fault. I mean, I should have just never gone to your sleepover. Why? We had so much fun. Who cares if you peed the bed? It's not your fault. I know, but it wasn't very fun the next day when everyone was making fun of me. I know. But come on, come back to science class. Trust me, I'll stick up for you if anybody tries to bully you. Aww. You really are my best friend. Come on, Rosie, it'll be okay. You know, I want to tell you something, Rosie. I, I, I'm a little self-conscious about my speech impediment. <gasps> really? I hardly even notice it, Daisy. Well, you're the only one that doesn't. Look, I was just born this way. I'm super smart, but I just talk a little different than everybody else. And I know what it's like to be different. And how it can make you feel, well, less than. But don't let it. You're still amazing. Aw, thanks, Daisy. You're such a good friend. No problem. Now, come on. Let's go be awesome scientists. Well, at least try to be. Okay, who knows the answer to problem number seven, Sarah? Uh, no, I have no idea, but 
Ugh, oh, I must have gotten some milk for lunch because stomach is just kind of like... Ugh. Uh, Sarah, quit making excuses. You always want to leave the classroom when I call on you. Just answer number seven. I really have to go to the bathroom. No, Sarah. You always try to skip class and sometimes you succeed. You need to stay here and answer these questions or you're gonna fail. Uh, uh, what was that sound? Uh, Mr. Schellberger, I think one of your experiments is bubbling over. Wait, what? Yeah, it does smell softful. It smells like a giant fart in you. What's going on with your science experiment? I really have to go to the bathroom! Oh! Um, I'm pretty sure she already did. Oh, man. How embarrassing. Right in the middle of class. Well, I guess now she knows what it feels like to have an accident. It could happen to anybody. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's not going to be making fun of me after this one. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure everyone's going to forget that happened to you. She's going to be the new talk of the school. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, look, there's Sarah. Sir, are you going to invite us to your, your farty party? Whatever. You don't bully me. I'm the bully. Oh, maybe you can invite us to the poop parade. <laughs> I can't believe you had an accident in school. What are you, in preschool? <laughs> Whatever. I'm going home, and I'm never coming back here again. <laughs> I don't know why she's so embarrassed. I mean, I fart all the time. Ew, Stephen, gross. See, Boozy, they already forgot about your drama. So, you want to come spend the night in my house again? Yeah, sure, why not? This time, I think we should put down a pee pad. Yeah, exactly. Don't worry about anything, though. I totally know your secret, and I don't care at all. You're my BFF for Aww. life, Boozy. And you're my BFF, Daisy. I'm so glad you're my friend. Me too. Me too. Hannah, 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 Hannah. Oh my gosh, Molly, what do you want? You just asked me for a snack five seconds ago. But I'm still hungry. Can I have some treats? Maybe some chocolate? A uh, candy bar? Something like that? No, your mom said no garbage food while I was on duty. Sorry. But, but Hannah, you have to let me eat some chocolate. Preferably, I would like to have a Hershey's bar or uh, maybe like something with peanut butter in the center. What are those called again? Reese cups. Yeah, Reese cups. Can I have one of those? <laughs> You're too funny, Molly, but no. Huh. Okay, I guess I'll have to entertain myself a different way. Boing, 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 boing. Molly, are you seriously jumping on the couch? If I turn around and still see you jumping on the couch, you're going to be in so much trouble. I'm still jumping. You should probably give me some chocolate. Molly. Okay, you have five seconds to get down, Molly. One, two, three. <sighs> Thank you, Molly. Four, five. We were just counting my jumps. Molly, seriously. Would you please do your chores? Please, Molly, do your chores. Okay, jeepers, Hannah, you've gotten kind of bossy. Well, uh, I'm not bossy, I'm a good babysitter. You're just driving me crazy. Okay, I'll do my chores. Mom always keeps some extra things in here, and I'm going to eat them. Da, 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 da. What, your mom doesn't keep cookies in the safe? Must be you don't like to eat cookies as much as I do. What a good cookie. Mm. No wonder mom was hiding them from me. Mommy, are you eating sweets? I told you not to eat sweets. Yeah, and now I have way too much energy. Oh, no. Don't tell me you're going to bounce on the couch again and you're eating a cookie. You're getting crumbs everywhere. Your mom's going to be so mad at me. Molly, that's it. I quit. Wait, Hannah. H Hannah? Uh-oh. Another one bites the dust. Yum. The babysitter, that is, not the cookie. I can't believe I'm looking for a new babysitter again. Mommy keeps making all of the babysitters quit, and I need to be able to get to my job every day. Uh, what am I going to do? I know, I'll Google it. Babysitter that can handle bratty, misbehaving children. <gasps> well, mostly just Molly, but anyway. Oh, 
your kid will behave with my babysitting? Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. I guess I'll send her a message. Hi, I'm looking for a babysitter for my three kids. One is trouble. Don't worry, she'll behave with me. Well, you're hired. to wake up. Nah, uh, Hannah usually lets us sleep in, Mom. Well, Hannah's not your babysitter today, Molly. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, baby Kira, I know you're hungry. Molly, get out of bed, seriously. What, why, what, what's going on? Where's Hannah? She quit, remember? Ow. Uh, oh yeah, well I guess you get to stay home with us then, Mom. No, Molly, I have to work, and you have to be with the new babysitter. Now get out of bed so you can meet her. What, a new babysitter? <laughs> I'll have her quitting in less than 10 hours. <laughs> now girls, specifically Molly, I want you to be on your best behavior. This babysitter was the last resort and very expensive. No, Bluey and Mom, I'll behave as usual. Um, no promises. Uh -oh. Molly, okay, fine, I'll try my best. I could jump on couch like Molly. No, baby Kira, do not act like Molly. Molly's very naughty. I don't want to be like Molly, I love her. Baby Kira, try to be like Daisy, please. Fine. Oh, she just texted me. Her name's Brooke, by the way. Brooke, like Brookie, like my best friend? Uh-huh, sure. She's probably awesome like Brookie then. Everyone named Brooke, Brookie, whatever, they're all awesome. Ooh, pancakes. Mama, you try to make Molly be nice so she behaves. Uh, yes, absolutely, Daisy. Mmm, those are good, Mom. Thanks. You're welcome. Baby Kira, what are you doing? You're not allowed to have my phone. I think Mom play with phone can you fine. No, no screen time this morning. Eat your baby food. I don't want you to play with your phone. Oh, so I'm going to be the naughty one with the babysitter, huh? Not. One hour later. Molly, the new babysitter's here. Try to behave yourself. As I said, no promises. Good morning. I'm Brooke. No television. But I was watching gymnastics. On my watch, there's no television and there's no fun. Wait, what? Oh, great. Mom, I had a prison guard. Especially because of you, Molly. What? It's not my fault. I can't go by and pick that from your fault, Molly. <gasps> I'm not a prison guard. I'm last chance babysitter. Let me tell you, I don't quit. You will behave. Now let's see. It's already pretty late. Time for those chores. Um, we don't really do chores on this day. Well, now you do chores every day I'm here. Starting with my laundry. Hop two. Your laundry. But, 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 but. Wow, this is a lot of laundry. Why are you bringing it here? You could have done it at home. I don't think so. Now, we will be going out for exercise in approximately 30 minutes. Uh oh. So hurry up with that laundry. Oh, boy. Should have been nicer to Hannah, I guess. This is terrible. Maddie, don't complain. This lady seems crazy. Who knows what she'll do? Well, hopefully she she lets us go outside. Yeah, well, she already said we have to go out and exercise. You'll favor me. Um, I don't exercise unless you count eating cookies. That's a lot of exercise for my mouth. Chew, 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 chew. Oh, boy. I, 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 looking up reviews on this babysitter. Everyone doesn't even know who she is. Where'd mom even find this lady? Hop, hop. Hop to their little bunnies. Time to go outside and get some exercise. Um, I don't exercise. Wait, where's my stroller? Your stroller? You're not a baby. Well, I could probably squeeze in there with baby here. Wait, come back here. 
Uh, no, you are going to get some exercise. No lazy kids on my watch. Whoa, I, I don't even know what to say right now. Uh, you're kind of grumpy there, Brooke. I don't think you should be talking to me that way. Would you like a timeout for the rest of the day? Does the timeout include cookies, sitting down and watching TV? No, it includes an underground prison that I've made in your basement. Wait, what? When did you have time to do that? Probably while we were doing our laundry. Oh my gosh, look at your nails. Those are crazy. But anyway, could you help me? Excuse me, excuse me. Ooh, nice Louis Vuitton bag. Molly, quit getting distracted. Um, wait, come back. My babysitter, she's evil. I need help. Your babysitter seems super nice, kid. What are you talking about? Huh? Oh, Molly, there you are. You ready to have a fun day at the park? Brooke, you're wearing a smile? Who are you even? You were just a grumpy, miserable, mean babysitter. What? I have no idea what she's talking about. Don't listen to her. Um, do you, do you, seriously, listen to her. She's, she's just acting right now. Molly, I'm the nicest babysitter ever. What are you talking about? Now, come on. Okay, maybe I just misjudged her. Maybe she's not as evil as I thought. I just need to give her a chance. Glad you could join us, little brat. What? You were just so nice in front of that other lady. Yeah, but at last chance babysitting, I don't want to be nice. I want you to behave. Whoa! Um, so you are actually mean? Ugh, no. I'm honest. You're a brat. Oh, that's not very nice. I'm gonna go jump on the trampoline. Not today, Molly. Get down. No fun for you since you can't really behave yourself, ever. Oh my gosh, okay. I guess I'll just go stand over here then. Guys, I need to come up with a plan because this babysitter is super mean and grumpy. I'm gonna expose her on Snapchat. Then, everyone in, in Roblox, they'll have to believe me. Okay, it's Molly here, guys, and I just wanna make this little video because my mom hired this babysitter and she's so mean. So I'm about to show you guys so everybody will know. Did I say you could have any fun? I don't think so. I want to have fun because I'm at the park. I don't think so, kid. No fun. Ah! See? She just made my little sister cry. Time to send this to everybody in Roblox. Hmm, what's this? I got a new snap. Wait, what? Is that babysitter being mean to you, honey? Yeah, and, and, and we need to call the cops. I think we just need to call your mom. Holy macaroni, there's an evil mean babysitter in here. <gasps> Cute guy, that's right. Um, I, I don't know what to do. We're gonna call your mom, that's what. Oh, Molly, everybody in all of Wobbys got your snap. Including the babysitter. Maybe we should take baby Kira and run. What? You did this snap? That's it. You are gonna have a timeout forever. I don't think so, lady. Molly, run! Oh my God, this lady's crazy. Big in here. We need a ride. Get in, Molly. What's going on? Do you have room for my little sister? Do you have a car seat? Uh, we're just right here. We're, we're, we're kind of good. You need to take us to the hospital. Why? Did someone lose an arm or something? No. Ew. Gross. Um, no. We this we have this really evil babysitter. And can you just drive the car while you sit here? Sorry. I didn't really get a really big uh, brain when I decided to be this bacon hair dude. Follow it, dude! Okay, I'm not very good at driving. Hey man, can I have a ride? No, sorry, I gotta take these kids to the hospital. Something about losing an arm? Dude, bacon hair, we didn't lose an arm. Oh my god, this guy can't drive. Park it so I can drive it! Molly, we'd be faster off just running! Yeah, she's got a point, let's go. <coughs> ah, and then I was got run over by the free candy guy. Okay, um, when I see my mom, I am going to scream that she hired this babysitter. DZ, the hospital is right here, where are you going? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. My brain was, like, in scared mode. Daisy, I'm confused. I don't know what...
which one to go to? Imaging or emergency? I mean, I took an image with the Snapchat, but this is an emergency. Are you serious right now, Molly? Yeah, which one is it? Molly, imaging is for like an MRI or like X-ray. We have to go to an emergency. That's where mom works. Plus, this is an emergency, right? Ay, 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 yeah, Molly. I can't even with you. Mom! 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 Molly, I don't think you're supposed to run through the hospital like that. Oh, Molly! What's going on? Why are you here? Are you okay? Where's where's my girls? Oh, okay. What's going on, girls? Mom, the babysitter's evil! What? No, you just don't like her because she makes you do your chores. Our chores? She made us do her laundry. Then she calls me a brat and she's really mean to me. What? What are you talking about? Mom, pull out your phone. Um, I sent you a chat, but you were a Snapchat, but you were just busy like with patients or something. Okay, well, let me look at my phone and see what you're talking about. Wait, what? She was mean to my baby? All three of them? That's it. She's fired. And getting one star on Google. Yeah, um, last chance babysitting is not a very good business. Oh, I'm sorry, girls. But, Molly, you were so naughty, I couldn't get any babysitter to not quit. Don't worry, Mom. I've learned my lesson. I've really learned it. I'm only going to eat one cookie and bounce on the couch once a day, instead of more like a hundred. Molly! Molly. Okay, how about just one cookie and no bouncing on the couch? Molly. Mom! I can't live without my cookies! <laughs> Dr. Barker for seeing us today. Now, Molly, tell him what your symptoms are. I don't want it. Molly? Well, it's embarrassing. <sighs> Molly has been having some tummy troubles. Oh, I see. What kind of tummy troubles, Molly? Like the stomach bug or... Actually, she's been having a lot of gas <gasps> and running to the bathroom. Mom! This is humiliating! Molly, he's a doctor. It's totally fine. You probably just need to have an x-ray of your tummy or an ultrasound, and then they'll just give you some medicine and you'll feel all better. You don't want your stomach to hurt anymore, do you? Uh. I think it's a really good idea, Molly, for you to go in and have an ultrasound and an x-ray just to make sure there's nothing going on with your tummy, okay? Fine, let's do this. <laughs> Yeah. See, doctor? She definitely needs to be here. Hey, a little fart down again isn't going to kill anybody. Oh, I don't know. That one just might. Okay, get in the x-ray machine <laughs> and let's close the door quick before I die of s the smell. Oh, very funny, doctor. Very funny. Okay, Molly, I just need you to lie completely still. Perfect. Okay, mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back in the room and we'll have a little discussion with your mom. Fine. I hate going to the doctor, seriously. Sometimes coming to the doctor is necessary to keep you healthy. And it seems to me that you most definitely are lactose intolerant. What? What does that mean? It means you're allergic to milk and milk products. You can't have cheese or milk or what? I love cheese, especially on tacos and on soup mm. and on salads when you make me eat a salad, which is annoying, except for the cheese. I can't eat cheese anymore. Um, I'm really sorry, Molly, but you also can't have any um, ice cream. Ah, this is the worst day of my life. Take it back. I don't want to be lactose intolerant. Please, doctor. I'll give you anything. I'll give you a million dollars. I don't have a million dollars, but please take it back. I'm sorry. It's the diagnosis. It's how your body works. You can learn to live with it. You can have almond ice cream. Almonds? Now, how on earth do they make almonds into ice cream? Ew! Now, remember, Molly, what the doctor said. No more milk products or your tummy will really hurt. Uh-oh! This stinks! I know, Molly, but I'll try to pick up some new things at the store that you can try out, and um, they should be pretty good, I'm hoping. Ugh! Ugh this lousy apple tastes so healthy! Oh, I just want to eat something delicious like pizza! Ugh. Hey, Molly, what's up? How'd your doctor appointment go? I guess it was fine! Oh, wow. Let's turn your phone upside down. My treat! We could go get ice cream. Wait, 
Um, what? Yeah, my treat. We could get your favorite strawberry. Mmm. Um, uh, well, um, sure, why not? Yeah, you hesitated there, Molly. Are you sure that it'll be okay with your tummy and everything? It'll be just fine with my tummy. I'll make it fine with my tummy. Okay, let's go. Mm, this ice cream's delicious. Tell me about it. Mint chocolate chip is one of my favorites. So, Molly, did they tell you what was wrong with your tummy at the doctor? Um, uh, not really. Everything's just fine. Oh, that's good, Molly. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm just processing my ice cream, okay? All right, Molly, you don't have to get so rude about it. Mm, they really do have the best ice cream. Yes, yeah, sweetest in Brookhaven. Uh-oh. I don't feel so good. Why did I eat that ice cream yesterday? Ugh. Oh, hey, Molly, how are you? Whoa, Molly, are you all right? It looks like you're going to, like, faint or barf. I know. My stomach is kind of being weird. Uh, Molly, you don't think it's from that ice cream, do you? No, I'm sure it's not from that. I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, class, everybody settle down. Wow, it looks like a lot of people are out today. Must be the flu bug again. I think Molly might have the <gasps> flu. No, I don't. I'm fine. I swear, I'm fine. Molly, are you sure you're not in denial about what the doctor said? I'm fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I feel like I have to fart, but I can't do it in class. That'll be so embarrassing. Oh, why? Why me? Oh, well, good morning, Logan. Thank you for joining us. Oh, no. There's Logan. I hope he doesn't notice that my stomach's being weird. Whoa, Molly, why are you such a funny color? Do you have to, like, fart or something? <laughs> what? No, I don't have to fart. No, I don't have to fart. Oh, what is going on with my stomach? Come on, stomach. Work with me here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe she actually drank me. I know, and now I get to exist once again. What kind of fart should I send her? Silent but deadly? <laughs> I'll embarrass her in front of everybody in the classroom. Thanks to you, Milk. We really do make a good team, don't we, Gas? <laughs> we sure do. <laughs> so... Should I send her a silent but deadly? Or should I make it so loud the entire school blows up <gasps> with a fart? <laughs> oh, what's going on with my stomach right now? Molly, don't fart. D -d -d don't do it. Hold it in. Hold it in. <laughs> she can't hold me in forever. I'm about to burst onto the scene and make a party. A farty party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gas, you're so funny. What's this? I can just move around a lot in here? <laughs> Her tummy will be bubbling all over the place. <laughs> oh, wait. Who's that? Uh-oh. Oh, no. You spoil all the fun. Step aside, Gas. The big boss is here. Oh, man. You spoil all the fun. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, teacher. Teacher, teacher, teacher! Yes, Molly, what is it? I have to go potty. Right now, right now! Molly, you always say you have to go to the bathroom and then you never come back to class. You skip class and say that you have to go to the bathroom. Not today. We have a quiz and I actually need you to pass it so you don't have to repeat this grade again. No, 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 no. I know a lot of other times I was just fibbing about having to go to the bathroom, but this time I really do! Let me go to the bathroom. Seriously, please, 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 please. Um, teacher, I don't think Molly is kidding around. I'm not kidding around! Let me go! Molly, do I need to give you detention? Uh-oh! Can't hold it in! I can't, 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 can't hold it in! Ah! Dude, she's gonna blow!
right, guys, tonight for your homework assignment, it's written on the board, workbook pages 25 through 40. Also, do you all have a cold like I do? I caught it. I can't believe it. I never get sick. And this time, uh, achoo, I caught it too. Maybe we could not do homework tonight, Mrs. S. Sorry, class. We're too close to Christmas vacation now. We need to make sure our work is done before we take our two-week break. I'm so sorry. I hope you guys get enough rest, but you still need to take your workbook home and do pages 25 through 40. I can't believe someone in this school actually gave me their germs. Gross. Mrs. S, Mrs. S, I, I have to go to the bathroom. I don't feel very good. Okay, Molly, you're excused. Just remember, don't forget your workbook. No, never, not me. I'll get it as soon as I go to the bathroom. Ugh, I feel so sick today. Ha, ha, achoo! Oh, man. Ugh. This cold that's going around school is so bad. I hope it's gone before Christmas. Probably gonna use this entire roll of toilet paper to blow my nose. Wow, I even look sick. Huh? I guess I should just go home and have some hot chocolate, maybe some soup, do my workbook homework, and then crawl into bed and watch YouTube. Oh, yeah, but I can't forget my workbook. La, 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 la. Where is it? I thought I left it on my desk. Is it underneath my desk? No. Okay, well, I guess Daisy probably put it in my backpack. She knows I often forget my homework. <laughs> oh, man, I missed the school bus, too? Ugh, oh, now I have to walk all the way home by myself. Ugh, oh, uh, uh, I'm finally home. Oh, my gosh, Molly, did you miss the school bus again? Yeah, uh, and I don't feel very good, so it just... It was like the longest walk ever. Yeah, me too, Molly. Ha choo! I'm still feeling sick. I'm just going to finish my workbook homework. I thought I could go lay down and maybe play some Roblox on my iPad. Sounds good. Just got to get my workbook out of my backpack. Wait, where's my workbook? It's, it's not in here. Daisy, did you not put my workbook in my backpack? Why would I put your workbook in your backpack? That's your responsibility, Molly. Ha choo! I can't be bothered to do that. I just have to get this homework done so I can go to sleep. Well, because I looked at my desk at school and it wasn't there. Well, maybe it was under your desk. No, I looked there too. Well, maybe you left it in your locker. Oh, man. I didn't think about that. Well... Looks like you're going back to school. You don't want detention again. One more detention. Mom said you're grounded for life. Oh, man. I got to walk all the way back to the school. Oh. Ha, ha, achoo. A few hours later. Phew. I finally made it. Now I just got to get my workbook out of my locker. And finally I can go home and relax. Achoo. Math. Spelling. Where's my English workbook? It's not here. Oh, my God. What am I going to do? All right. I was in the bathroom. Maybe I left it in there. Which stall did I go into? Not this one. Maybe this one? No. Oh, my God. Where is it? Oh, I bet the janitor picked it up. That's it. Where could he be? He's probably next to the janitor's room. Oh, there he is. Hey, Fred. Hey, Molly. What are you doing here? Detention again? Um, no. But I was wondering, did you pick up uh, my um English workbook? It would say Molly on it. It had a bunch of hearts and stars on it. Nope, none of those. But you could check in the lost and found in the principal's office. I've got to get cleaning. See you later. Bye, Fred. Oh, boy. Well, I'll just look in the lost and found. Oh, no. The principal's office is locked. What am I going to do? Oh, no. I'm never going to get my workbook. Oh. Wait. I'll just ask Fred if he has the key. Fred! Fred! Where'd he go, man? He just, like, disappeared. I think my janitor might be part ghost. Oh, wait, there he is! Fred! Yes, Molly. I told you I couldn't find your workbook for you. Sorry, do you have the principal's, um, office key? What? No student is allowed in the principal's office unless called in. Well, then please go look in the lost and found box and see if my workbook is in there. All right. You kids. <coughs> oh, no. Did you catch the school cold, too? I sure did. <coughs> Everybody caught it. I just want to go home. Me, too, Fred. Me, too. Oh, no. I don't think he found it. Fred, did you find it? No luck, Molly. Oh, my God. I think my workbook's been stolen. 
Well, I hate to tell you this, but you're not doing your homework tonight. Oh, no! Ugh, so sick. Have to lay down now. Ugh. Hey, Marty, did you find your workbook? No! What? You're gonna get detention! At this point, I don't think I even care. I just need to lay down. My throat is so scratchy, my nose is so stuffy, and my head hurts. Ugh, I feel dizzy. Marty, you better lay down in bed right now. Bed? Who needs bed? Ugh. Marty, are you okay? Yeah, just leave me here. I'll be fine. Ugh. Well, I guess you getting detention will be a problem for future, Marty. Yeah. Exactly. The next day. Good morning, Daisy. Good morning, Molly. Are you still not feeling bad? -o? Not really. And I'm going to have to have an even longer day than yesterday. Well, according to Dr. Google, we're going to have this cold for 7 to 10 days. Oh, man. Will Mom let us stay home from school? I already asked. She said it's just a cold. Go to school if you and try and call me if you need me. She said... Christmas vacation is right around the corner, so basically, she doesn't want us to miss any school. Oh, man. Come on, Molly. The school bus is here, unless you want to walk again. No way! Good morning, class. I hope you're feeling at least a little better. Are you feeling better, Mrs. S? Not really. We aren't either. Well, they say the common cold takes 7 to 10 days to get over, but together, I'm sure we'll conquer it. All right, guys, I want you to take out your workbook homework, please. Um, Mrs. S, I don't have my workbook. What? Why? Because, um, I, 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 I don't have it. Figures. She never does her homework. <laughs> Sarah, that's not true. I do it sometimes. Well, Molly, you don't always do it. Yeah, but this time I was going to do it. And, 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 and... Molly, I don't really feel like hearing your excuses. I'm just going to give you detention. But, but it's not my fault. I even ran back to the school when I was sick looking for it and someone stole it. What? You think someone stole your workbook? Yeah. Okay, well, I have a simple solution for this. I haven't told you kids this yet, but we did get new surveillance cameras in the entire school. So I'll just watch the feed from the camera and we'll find out if someone actually stole your workbook. I think that's a horrible idea. I didn't say that I could be filmed ever. I didn't give permission. Sorry, Sarah, but these surveillance cameras are needed. And we're about to find out what happened to Molly's workbook. Oh, I can't believe I caught the school cold. This is terrible. Well, at least I'm done grading papers. Now I can go home. Finally. Sarah, I can't believe you stole Molly's workbook. Why would you do that? So she would get detention, of course. <laughs> Sarah, that is very wrong. Detention. What? I got detention? Sarah, you you stole my workbook? Why, I oughta. Molly, stop yelling at Sarah. But she deserves it. You're a, you're a no good rotten classmate. Molly. That is uncalled for. I already gave Sarah detention, but now you get detention too. Ha ha, looks like we both have detention. Sarah, do you want yours to be for a week? Uh, not really. I'll see you both in detention. What? But, but, oh man. A few hours later. Well, here we go again, in detention. No talking, no having fun. Sounds about right. Oh, I hate detention. I even tried so hard not to get it this time, and I still got it. Oh. Hey, where's Sarah? We're supposed to be here right at 4 o'clock sharp, and she's not even here. I'm the only one in detention. That's not fair. All right, what am I going to do with myself right now? The detention teacher hasn't even shown up yet. Who's late for detention if you're the detention teacher? Well, well, well. We meet again, Molly. We really should stop meeting like this. 
Can you stop getting detention? I'm trying, okay? My classmate stole my workbook. What? Yeah, and then Mrs. S gave me detention for yelling at her. Oh, Molly. Ah, you're just never going to get out of detention, are you? Well, no talking, no having fun. Now, let me see my roster. Who else is supposed to be in here? <laughs> just you, Molly. Wait a minute, just me? I thought Sarah was supposed to be in here. I don't have her on my roster. I think it's just you. Wait, what? So she stole my notebook, but she doesn't get detention? <coughs> Achoo! How is that fair? Molly, I don't know what you're talking about. It sounds like one of your tall tales again. Please be quiet. Take out some homework to work on. Fine. How is this fair? How did Sarah get away with this? Ugh. Hey, Mom. You wanted to see me? Yeah, honey. Uh, we need to talk. I think you should probably get off your phone. Okay, I'm just finishing up this text to Molly. <laughs> What's up? Well, I didn't want to have to do this. You know I hate working more, but- uh -oh. oh! Don't tell me. You and dad are gonna be gone even more than you already are? Mom, I'm sorry, honey, but we as grown-ups sometimes have to do what we need to do to, well, make sure you have a house and food and clothes and but mom, I miss you guys. <gasps> I know, honey. That's why I hired someone new to spend some time with you. Her name is Kim, and she seems really nice. She's gonna be your new nanny. Nanny, mom, I'm too grown up for that. Look, this new work position that I have, honey, it means I have to do some overnights out of town. And I don't think you should stay here all alone. Well, my brothers are still gonna be here. They have sports, honey. They have a lot of stuff going on. Come on, you guys need to have a nanny. Fine, I guess I'll give Kim the chance she deserves. Thanks so much, honey. She should be here any minute. Mom, y you're saying tonight she's starting? Huh? But mom, my friends, Molly and Daisy, they're supposed to be having a sleepover with me tonight? Oh no, maybe we need to cancel it this time. Cancel it this time. What? What? No, mom, you've been promise me, th promising me this sleepover for like two months. We can't cancel it. They're, they're already coming. All right, honey, I'm sure Kim will be fine with it. I'll let her know, okay? Okay, thanks, mom. I really am gonna miss you while you're out of town at work. I'll miss you too, sweetie, I'll miss you too. Oh! She's here now. I'm sure you're going to love her, honey. Wow, Kim, you seem pretty nice. You seem nice too, Brookie. So we're going to have a great time, right? See you later, everybody. Have fun. Bye, Mom. Bye. We'll be fine. So, Kim, what do you like to do for fun? Fun? Mm, let me see. Oh, my friends Molly and Daisy are here. <laughs> Wait till you meet them. They're amazing. Great. More kids for me to boss around. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, Daisy, hi. Come on in. Hey, Brookie. I brought a big bag of Doritos. Your favorite. Aw, thanks. A dad brought so many clothes for us to try on. We could do like dress to impress if you want. Ooh, fun. Kids, where are you? Oh yeah, I didn't have time to text you, but my mom hired a nanny. Uh -oh. What? Well, where's your mom? And your dad? They both had to go away for the week for, for work. Oh wow, Brookie, I'm sorry. That must make you really sad. Yeah, I'm gonna miss them, but my new nanny seems really nice. Let's go meet her, she's probably awesome. Wow. La, 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 la. Oh, oh, sorry, you didn't mean to run into you. Whatever, kid. Watch where you're going. Oh. What did you say about her being nice? Oh, <laughs> you probably just ran into her and that probably hurt. Um, I think we got off on the wrong foot here, so I'm going to offer you some of my Doritos, but only after I've eaten some. Molly! <laughs> sorry, Brookie. I, here, you can have them. At least some of them, but not all of them. I don't want... Your gross Doritos. 
Whoa, Kim, what's wrong with you? I don't really like kids, so you're going to make this week not annoying. That's it, I'm going home. What, no, we can't leave Berkey here with this crazy lady. But Molly, seriously, I'm not leaving her here alone. She's my best friend, and this lady is psycho. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was just being a little grumpy. Seems that I'm um, really needing something to eat. When I get hungry, I get hangry. How about I go make us all a delicious cake? Wow. Well, um, okay, Kim, you're forgiven. You can make us a cake. Great. <laughs> I'll be just down baking it. You girls stay right here. Oh, what's her deal? She seems like De Mr. Jekyllin. What is it? Jekyllin High? Yeah, that's it. Where? Dr. Jekyll is like super nice, but then when he turns into Mr. Hyde, he's psycho! Ah! Well, maybe she's just a little nervous because it is her first day on the job. Yeah, maybe. Come on, let's eat some Doritos. Honey, we're gonna eat cake in a minute. Yes, yeah, so Doritos and cake go perfect together. So what did Luke say when you said that you wanted to go to the dance with him? <gasps> um, he said he'd think about it. Ow! Whoa, Molly! Well, that's not a no. Well, it's not exactly a yes either. Well, it's close to a yes. I think about it is, I really like you, but I don't know how to tell you. That's true, Molly. That's exactly what that could mean. Girls, come on down here, please. Okay, let's stop eating the Doritos and go eat some cake. <coughs> Sounds delicious. La, 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 gonna eat some cake. You'd think I'd have a stomach ache, but no. Literally, I have a stomach like a goat. I can eat tin cans and I don't get a stomach ache. <laughs> Whoa, yummy cake. I know. Doesn't this look delicious? It's the last slice. The last slice, but you baked a whole cake. Where's the rest? Did you burn it? No, I ate it. This last slice, though, looks so good. Well, I guess we could split it since you ate the last, piggy. What? What did you call me? She's just kidding. She calls me that, too. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just saying you ate a whole cake by yourself. Yeah, and I'm about to eat this last slice right in front of you. Wait, what? You're kidding, right? No. So. Not. Kidding. Okay, lady. That is rude. Why would you do that? You know what? You're a brat. You're the biggest brat of you three. I think you should go plunge the toilet. Why do I need to plunge the toilet? Uh, Molly, I thought that was obvious. She ate an entire cake by herself. Obviously, she plugged the toilet. Ugh. Well, they don't have a plunger at Brookie's house, so I guess this vacuum will have to suck it out. Ew, gross. Hey, what's that on the counter? Does that say diary? <gasps> It's Kim's diary. She must have left it in here when she was plugging the toilet. I know it's not nice to read somebody's diary, but I'm totally gonna. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <gasps> no wonder she's evil. <laughs> Keep counting. You have to brush my hair a thousand times. Get it right. Okay, so we, um, how uh, was it? 457. 458. Rookie, um, can I see you in the other room? Sure, Molly, what is it? I have to tell you something. Come on. I'm down into the basement. <gasps> this is amazing! Oh, yeah, you haven't seen my house since we had the pool put in? No, it's amazing. Too bad your parents have to work so hard to pay for it. I know. They're never home. I would have rather they be home than to have this big pool. I know. I'm sorry, Brookie. Anyway, I have to tell you what I found in the bathroom. What? What is that? It's Kim's diary. And look at this. What? She was bullied? Uh-oh. Oh, that explains a lot. Oh, my God. Heather, Hannah, you guys wear the same shirt. That's such a loser move. What? Hannah, I told you I was wearing this sweater today. Whatever, you should go change or you can't be in our group anymore. Uh-oh. What? No, this is, I got this sweater first. You go change. If you want to be a baddie like us 
and stay in our group, I suggest you go home and change your shirt right now. You can't copy another baddie. That makes you a loser. Fine. <gasps> Is this better, baddies? Yeah, you look super adorable. You can be in our club. Thanks. <laughs> Well, 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 look who it is. Kimmy, 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 the loser. Uh-oh. Hey, guys, um, I was wondering, could I maybe be a part of your baddie club? <laughs> is she for real? Listen, shorty, I don't think so. We don't let losers into our baddie club. Oh, well, um, I could be baddie. <laughs> look at my outfit today. Super baddie, right? <laughs> you have braces. Loser. You have ugly clothes. Loser. You're super short and weird looking. Loser. Um, okay. Well, I guess I don't have to be. <laughs> bye, loser. Yeah, bye. Cry like a baby. Cry, cry, cry. Oh, look who it is. The loser's back. Oh, hey, guys. Um, Look, it's pizza day. Ew, pizza. The only thing I have for lunch is my double latte. And I have a Diet Coke, duh. But the pizza's delicious. Whatever, loser, loser. You're definitely gonna have pizza stuck in your braces. I guess, I guess I'll just go to the bathroom and hide and eat my pizza. Someday, I'm gonna be the baddie. And no one will mess with me. OMG, she was bullied by a group of baddies. I know. Maybe we can try to talk some sense into her. Explain to her that we're good people. We're not baddies. We're not villains. Especially not in her story. Come on, Brookie. I think this might work. I don't know, Molly. She seems kind of... Where have you two been? Um, look. Kim. Uh... I know that you were, well, probably bullied. What? Why would you say that? Did you read my diary? Uh-oh. That backfired. Uh, Molly, what should we do now? Uh, uh, uh. That's it. You three are going to see what kind of baddie I really am. <laughs> and you three can think about what you did. You can't just lock us up in here. Hey! Hey! It's no use, Molly. Well, I think it's safe to say that your new nanny is completely and utterly psycho. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. Okay, your nanny is psycho. Your nanny is crazy. Your nanny is bonkers! Oh, no. What are we going to do? Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. Wait for your mom. But don't worry. I brought these Doritos. Molly... What? I'm always thinking of my stomach. Cranberry stuck in prison would just drool. Have to have something delicious. Well, I guess there's a party in here. But Molly! No eating bean burritos! Just stick the whole cell up. Don't worry. I didn't put any bean burritos in my pocket. <laughs> oh, man. How did I get stuck with this baddie nanny? Oh. <laughs> In today's video, you're going to see why you should always try to be nice to others because you never know what someone might be going through. Molly and Daisy's family seems, well, really nice. I mean, not perfect, but super, super nice. Hey, honey, what's for dinner? Um, I thought we could have tacos. Oh, one of my favorites. Well, we'd have to wait for Daisy. I'll set the table. Thanks, honey. I really appreciate all of your help. Molly, would you feed the dogs? <coughs> Ugh, do I have to? Yes, Molly. You have to. And we'll wait till Daisy gets home from her dance competition before we eat our tacos. Meanwhile, at my house, things aren't so perfect. Brookie, I'm home. Hey, Dad. I'm in the kitchen. Hey, honey. How was school today? It was okay. Oh, are you still struggling with missing your mom? Yeah, I mean, I know it's been a few months since she died, but I just 
still really miss her. I think we'll miss her forever, honey, but I have a new somebody that I want you to meet. Really? Who? Hi! I'm Karen! Oh, um... <gasps> Dad, I wasn't expecting your new friend to be, well, a girl. Well, Karen and I met, um... Well, the other day, she works at the local restaurant. She owns it. Karen's drive through Have you heard of it? Um, yeah, Dad. This is the owner of Karen's drive through Everyone thinks she's, like, totally miserable. <laughs> what? No, Karen's so amazing. And, um, her and I have been dating. <laughs> dating? <gasps> Wait. What? Dad, no. What about Mom? Honey. We have to move on with our lives. We can't, you know, just think about that forever. Come on, Karen's really nice. Give her a chance. Ugh, well, ugh, I just, I don't know what to say, okay? Excuse me, Karen. I need to run to my room and be dramatic about this and you're right in my way. Ugh, I thought she might have this reaction. It's fine, kids love me, trust me. Wow. Okay, Karen, well, I hope you're right, because my Brookie, she means the world to me, and I just think she's really struggling with this since her mom died. Oh, don't worry about a thing! I'm gonna be like a new mom for her! Okay, I, I really hope she accepts you. Don't worry. <laughs> Everything will be fine, Lou! Hey, everybody. I'm making this snap because I just found out my dad has a new girlfriend already. Her name is Karen. She owns Karen's drive through downtown. And I always heard she's like, ugh, terrible. And, well, I'm not sure that I want anyone to take my mom's place, ever. Okay, well, that's all. If you think this was bad, you should see what happens in a couple of weeks when my dad decides to move Karen into our house. And then he gives me the biggest, worst announcement. Finally, some time away from my new roommate, Karen. Honey, where are you, Brookie? Oh, there you are, sweetie. Hey, um, I, I gotta tell you something. Ah, oh, is it that Karen's moving out? Yay! No, uh, honey, uh, are you having a problem with Karen? Well, actually, Dad, I was thinking that maybe it could be just... Hi! Are you ready, honey? Let's make our announcement to her. I can't wait to be your new mommy. Oh, uh, Karen, maybe now's not such a good time. It's a perfect time, Lou. <laughs> Brookie, we're getting married. Ah! Wait, what? I, I don't know what to say. Say you're excited for us. <laughs> your dad and I are going to live happily ever after. Honey, are you okay? Sweetie, I want you to be okay with this. Of course she's okay with it, Lou! Who wouldn't want a new mommy after all the bad things that have happened? We are going to be BFFs, Brookie. I already have a BFF. Her name is Molly. Honey, just try to be nice to Karen. She's going to be your stepmom from now on. I... I... Uh... Well, bye, sweetie. I have to go to work, but I'm sure you and Karen were going to have the best day ever while I'm gone. Uh-huh. Sure, Dad. I just miss Mom. I wish she was here right now. Oh, bye-bye, Lou. Have a great day. <laughs> Do you think that you're going to just sit around and be lazy when I'm here? What? What are you talking about, Karen? You will call me mother. No, I won't. I'm not calling you mother. Excuse me, I want to go to the kitchen and get a snack. You aren't going anywhere. You want to earn a snack? Clean these floors now. Wait, what? That's right. I don't need you just sitting around here being lazy all day. When I'm here, what I say goes. You can't talk to me like this. I'll tell my dad. And ruin the little bit of happiness he has? Oh, you selfish little spoiled brat. Ow! Well, she has a point. My dad does seem really happy with Karen. I guess I'll do what you say, Karen. Good. Start doing all these chores, you brat. Okay. Uh, 
Karen, I finished all my chores. Um, could I go outside and get some fresh air now? No. Now you can make me a snack and then go to your room and be quiet. Um, okay, I'll make you a snack. Here you go, Karen. I made you a whole pizza. Is that good? Wow. Yeah, it'll do. But, um, did you put carbs in that? Well, yeah, it's pizza. It has lots of carbs. Ugh, fine. I guess I'll eat it. But you better try harder for my afternoon snack. Now go to your room. Um, okay. Oh my god. This is the worst life ever. I, I just don't even want to live in this house anymore. It's so terrible. <laughs> That is. <laughs> hey there, BFF. What's up? Hey, Molly. I'm so sad. I guess talking to your BFF is the best thing to do when you're having problems. My dad is marrying Karen. And she's, well... Uh, Karen! She's mean! And... And crazy! <laughs> well, you have to tell your dad! I can't! He's so happy! Rookie, are you in your room? Are you in the bathroom? You better not be using my curling iron! Ugh, gotta go! Where are you? I can't even find you. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I can hide from Karen. If I hide from her, she can't find me. Then she can't be mean to me anymore. Molly, help. Are you seriously on your phone? Did I approve you being on your phone? Who on earth could that be? Go answer the door. Um, okay, stepmother. I didn't say you could call me stepmother. I said you should call me mother. <laughs> DoorDash for Karen. Molly, Shh, just play along. <laughs> she doesn't know what I look like. What? DoorDash? Who ordered this? I did. That's why I was on my phone. Because you said the lunch was really terrible. So I decided to or order you some gluten-free options from DoorDash with my own money, of course. Well, I guess you're just trying to get on my good side, which is a good thing because I'm your new mother. I'm gonna go eat my snack. Okay, I'll just let the DoorDash person out. Molly, hurry, come on, come up to my room. Whoa, your stepmom is like evil. She's not my stepmom yet. Brookie, why you keep laying it down? Are you needing a nap or something? No, it's this game. It always glitches. It makes me try to lay down. Um, okay. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. We have to get you out of here, but how? I think, um, we could try to sneak out. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, um, let me see what I have in my bag to help us sneak out of here. Yeah, because I don't think these windows actually open. Ugh! Roblox, why don't you make windows that open so I can get out? Ooh. Uh, yeah, sorry, I don't have anything in my bag except for, well, a half-eaten cupcake from yesterday, an old piece of gum, and... Oh, okay, Molly, that's okay, you don't have to tell me everything. Well, I also had some toilet paper in there. Toilet paper? Why? Because one time I went to Walmart and I had to go to the bathroom and they didn't have any toilet paper! Oh, oh why did I eat that bean burrito? Wait a minute. Where's the toilet paper? Oh my god! Oh my god! There's no toilet paper! Ah! <laughs> Man, that was a terrible memory. Thanks for asking me to relive it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I see why you care to carry toilet paper with you everywhere you go. Yeah, pretty much. All right, let's just sneak out, Brookie. I'm sure your evil soon-to-be stepmom or whatever, evil Karen, whatever you want to call her, won't even notice. She'll be too busy chowing down on the food I brought. 
Molly, be super careful. Our house is very old. So the floors squeak. Yeah, we don't want to get caught. Exactly. I see the door. We can get out of here. Is somebody there? Uh-oh. Caught. Hide. Where are you, Brookie? Ugh. Really? Did you think you were going to trick me with that hiding spot? Well, our house doesn't really have any hiding places, but wouldn't it be fun to play hide and seek? Mother? <laughs> ha! Ha! Ah! Shoo! What was that? Was that the DoorDash person? Um, yeah. Wait a minute. You look like the picture I've seen of Brookie's BFF in her bedroom. Uh oh. Is your name Molly? Um, uh, uh yes. <laughs> I also work for DoorDash. Yeah, that's it. I think you're both liars. You want to know what? You want to play hide and seek? Great. If I find you after five minutes of hiding, you're grounded for life! Uh-oh! Molly, where should we hide? I think we should split up. Then at least one of us will get grounded and not the other. And maybe the other one can go get your dad or whatever. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to be split up from you, Molly. We have to, Rookie. Good luck. Thanks, Molly. You too. I never realized how terrible my house is for hide and seek. Ooh. Where should I go? Where should I go? The time is ticking. The time is ticking. Oh, I know. I have a good spot. I think. Okay. Um, I just, I need to lay down. And then I can hide in those bushes, I think. Uh, let me see. Uh, that should work, right? Okay, let's see if I can just like, over here like this. Like, oh, I'm sticking out too far. Oh my God. Maybe these bushes over here. <laughs> Look how I'm going across the ground. That looks really weird. Okay, guys. Um, maybe this bush over here. 20 seconds till I ground you for life. Oh, God. I don't think you can see me here. Oh, no, you can still see me a little bit. All right, I think this is the best bush to hide in over here. I don't know if I could just turn my body a certain way. This would work perfectly. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. Okay, my legs are still hanging out. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, rookie, good luck. Where are you, girl? I want to ground you for the rest of my life. <laughs> Ow, she stepped on my finger. Ow! Don't scream, Brookie. Don't scream. Hmm. Seems I can't find her. She's very good at this game. But I'll never give up and never surrender. Bratty, spoiled kids. I can't even believe how bratty they are. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Achoo! Ugh, allergies! Ha 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 Found you, brat. Now you're grounded for life. Ooh. Wait, what? I, 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 I didn't mean to, to, to cause any trouble and... Grounded. For life. Wait a minute. Uh, you're not my mom. What? But I'm a grown-up. So I can decide if you're grounded or not. Uh, and no? Also no and no. You're not my mom, so you don't get to ground me. Get a clue, Karen! She's distracted with Molly. Maybe if I jump on this trampoline, I can jump high enough to get over the fence in the backyard and run to my dad. It worked! Oh my gosh, I just need to run as fast as I can. I see the town! I see the town! Where do you think you're going? Oh, oh, Karen, um, uh... I found you. And now you're grounded for life! Seriously, Karen, get out of my way! I don't think so. I'm your mother now. So call me Mother. <laughs> this video is hilarious. Uh-oh, gotta go potty. <sighs> oh, um, gee, I just dropped my phone in the toilet. It's ruined! Oh no! Oh! Whoa, Molly, what's wrong with you? I got a new monkey. I love my monkey toy. No one cares about the monkey. Whoa, Molly, rude. That's your baby sister you're talking to. Try to be nice. Sorry, I'm just having a really bad moment. What is it, Molly? What happened? I dropped my phone in the toilet. <laughs> 
<laughs> you did what? <laughs> you made your phone swim in the toilet? <laughs> it's not funny, Daisy. My phone is ruined. I could get you out of my monkey and give you a hug. You feel better. I don't want your monkey to feel better. I want my phone. I was right in the middle of watching this super funny video. Well, uh, sorry, Molly, but I don't have any money you can borrow for a new phone. I'm going to ask Mom if she'll give me money. <laughs> yeah, right. She already bought you a new phone. I know, but I've got to try. Oh, hi, Molly. I'm just making the grocery list. Is there anything special you'd like from the grocery store? Now that you mentioned it, I'd like some pop tarts, some chocolate ice cream. Don't forget the ice cream cones. Um, some chocolate bars. Ooh, the cupcakes that have, like, the fudge in the center. And Molly, no, not a bunch of junk food. Oh, okay, I guess this day is just getting worse and worse and worse. What's wrong, Molly? You can talk to me about anything. Mom, I know you just bought me a new phone because I dropped the other one in the parking lot at school and it smashed it, but I um, had another little accident with my new phone. Wait, what? Don't tell me that you ruined your new phone. Well, I was watching this video, and I know you said don't take it into the bathroom because I'm clumsy and I'm probably going to, you know, drop it in the toilet. And, well, exactly what you said would happen. Happened! Molly, you dropped your phone in the toilet? Yeah, kind of funny, right? Daisy laughed. No, not funny. Did it ruin it? Um, yeah, and I was hoping. Would you give me some, some, some more money, Mom? Please, I, I need a new phone. Molly, I'm sorry, but... I can't afford that right now. I have to buy groceries for all of you kids and dad and I. It's all I have that's budgeted for, for groceries. I don't have money for a new phone. Uh-oh. What? What am I going to do with it out of phone? Read a book? Play outside? Um, count cheap? I don't know. Mom, that's what you do when you can't sleep. Oh, yeah, well, I don't know. I'm out of ideas then. Nobody knows. The trouble I'm in, nobody knows how sad I am. Told you, Molly, she wasn't going to go for it. Girls, I need you to go up and clean your rooms, please. Seriously, could this day get any worse? Baby Kira and I are going to head out to the grocery store. Are you ready, Baby Kira? I want to be my monkey, kid, Mom. Okay, honey, let's go. <laughs> Can't stop crying. How will I Snapchat? How will I play Roblox? How will I text Brookie? How will I call to order DoorDash? Worst day ever. My name is Daisy, just like the flower. Daisy, could you stop being so happy around me? Sorry, it's just my nature. My name is Daisy. Daisy, stop singing that song. It's driving me crazy. Whoa, you are so grumpy and rude right now, Molly. I'm just doing my chores and trying to keep a happy outlook on life. Well, there's nothing happy. I broke my phone. I sunk it to the bottom of the toilet ocean. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't supposed to not laugh there because it's not funny, but it's still really funny. <laughs> Sorry, toilet ocean. Your, your phone was like a... A sinking ship. <laughs> Daisy, my life is over. Marty, it's just a phone. Go out and live your life if you need to. I can't. My phone to Snapchat, DoorDash, texting, looking at funny videos, Roblox. Oh, Marty. Well, I guess you're just going to have to get a job. A job? Wait, what? No, 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 no. Definitely not. Jobs are worse than homework, I bet. Yeah, there's someone bossing you around, and you have to do what they say, but basically you get money for it, so I guess it's better than homework in that way. Ugh, I think I might be way too lazy for that. I'm going to go make myself feel better by eating a cookie. Well, at least I still have you, chocolate chip cookie. Mm. Friends for life. Mm. Delicious. Uh, I guess I'll just go watch some TV. Hey, what's that over there? It's, it's money! And loads of it! 
Holy guacamole, it's $500! <laughs> well, I guess the hands of fate have spoken. I'm supposed to get a phone after all. Daisy, I'll see you later. I'm going to town. Gonna take a nice little walk. Uh-oh. Mom, can I have a chocolate bar? Well, I don't know, honey. The budget's kind of tight this week. I really want something delicious. I'll tell you what. If you're a good girl while we're in the store, I'll buy you a chocolate bar and we can split it, okay? Okay. I love it. I want the chocolate kind with your peanut butter. Oh, Reese Cups. Good choice, baby Kira. I love it. Hi, welcome to Sunshine Market. Are you having a good day today? Yeah, I'm having a pretty good day. <laughs> I mean, I could afford all my groceries, which is surprising because it seems like they keep going up and up and up and up. Yeah, I know. Everybody's been complaining about that recently. Okay, let me just load up your cart for you. Okay, that will be $495.98. Wow, I kept it under $500 for our whole huge family? Ah, that's awesome. That's for two weeks of groceries. Okay, where's my money? It was right here in my pocket. Um, do you have the money to pay? I don't know what happened to the money. It was right here in my pocket. And, and oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Well, I guess I'll have to pay with my, my credit card. <laughs> I've been trying to just use cash, you know, that way I don't spend more than I have. But um, I guess I'll just use my credit card and try to find the money later. Well, you need to have groceries, so I guess you will. <laughs> Hopefully you find your money, though. I'm so happy right now, because I got a new phone. <laughs> best day ever. It used to be the worst day, but now it's the best one. I have no idea where that grocery money went, except for the fact that I have, well, a little bit of a hole in my pocket, and I think that it fell out the bottom of my pocket. Oh, no. I'm okay, Mama, and we can go be okay. Oh, where am I gonna get $500 to pay off the credit card bill? Oh, it's gotta be around here somewhere. I just know it. Mom, what exactly are you doing? Did you lose one of your contacts again? No, I just, I lost this money and... Whoa, you did? I took two, Mama. I have, I have Mama. I have What's everyone doing? Are we pretending we're dogs? I can play this game too. Woof! 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 No, Mama lost our money. What? What did you say? I can't understand you. You're talking baby talk. She's saying that Mom lost her money. She has a little hole in her pants pocket and the money fell right out. Wait. What? You, you lost money? H how much? $500. It was the money I was taking for the groceries. <laughs> well, you should be real more careful with your money, Mom. You shouldn't just leave it laying around. What? What are you talking about? Molly, do you know something about my missing money? If you do, you better tell me right now or else. Um, uh, uh, uh. It was, it was Daisy. What? What? I, I, I. Daisy? You are grounded for a month. But I, I, I... I can't even believe this, Daisy. Maybe from Molly, because she's sometimes naughty, but not you. I don't know what to say. I'm... I, I, I... I uh... Uh-oh. Well, Molly, thank you for telling me the truth about that. Um, you're... You're welcome. <laughs> so disappointed in Daisy. Obviously, if there's money just laying on the floor inside her house, it belongs to somebody. Why would she think she could just take it? Um, because she didn't realize that it belonged to you? Well, it belonged to somebody. People don't just leave $500 laying around, do they? I don't know. Maybe the universe just wanted you to have it. Molly, quit trying to make excuses for Daisy. It was wrong of her to not try to find the owner of the $500. Yeah, so wrong. I found the money. Well, no, baby Kira. Uh, we already found the money, and Daisy has it. I wonder what she spent it on. Mm, yum, 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 yum. 
Baby Kira, what are you eating? I found this hot dog under the couch. Oh, honey, that's super old. We ate hot dogs like a month ago. Where did that come from? Ew. Oh, nobody cleaned out of the couch. Ew, stop eating that, Baby Kira. That's gross. Stop it. In mine, I eat it if I want. Oh, gross. My life is over. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I didn't actually take the money. I just got accused of taking the money. I was so upset and emotional. I didn't think about this, well, with my brain. And the truth of it is, I just got framed. I was too busy crying and sad and upset that mom thought I did something wrong. I forgot about the fact that I didn't actually do something wrong. And now I'm gonna find out who did. <laughs> this video is hilarious. <laughs> Daisy, I'm on the toilet. What are you doing? Molly, where did you get that new phone? New phone? What new phone? Uh oh. Molly, you found the $500 on the floor, and you bought a new phone with it, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't have a phone. I'm innocent! Molly, you framed me, and you got me in so much trouble with Mom. That's it. I'm telling Mom! What? No, Daisy, you tattletale! Don't you dare! Okay, what am I going to do with this new phone? i got to hide the evidence. Oh, I can't flush it down the toilet. It's too beautiful! Don't even think about it! Daisy, you'll pay for this! Um, why are we hanging out in the bathroom, girls? Did the toilet plug again? Molly, you really need to eat less bean burritos. She flamed me! What? Well, her picture is pretty nice from school, but I didn't know you had a frame to put it in. No, Mom! Flamed as in, she made me guilty when she was guilty. What? No, it was Daisy. She took the $500. She bought a new phone. Check her pockets. Daisy! What? Molly, show me your pockets. Um. Molly! <gasps> uh, Molly, you are grounded. I'm sorry. I didn't know the $500 belonged to, to you, Mom. Well, who did you think it belonged to? Maybe Daisy. Well, did you think Daisy would want you to steal her money? Well, I figured finders, keepers, losers, weepers. <laughs> Molly, not in this house. Not in this house. I'm sorry, Daisy, that I accused you. Well, it was actually Molly. You were just doing your mom duties. <sighs> Molly, you are grounded for the next two weeks. And I'm going to expect you to do chores to earn that money back. Can I keep the phone? Not. Well, I don't know what to do about that, but... You're grounded from it for at least two weeks. And I can't believe... Wait, did you just have the phone next to the toilet again? Uh, she did. No, you're grounded from the phone for at least a month. Until you can pay me back for it. Ugh. This turned back into the worst day ever again. Ugh. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Molly, is that you running across the floor upstairs? What are you doing? I'm trying to do my homework. I, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Okay, it's going to be okay, Molly. You can figure this out. Molly, are you on a toilet paper again? No, I already figured out that dilemma. Go to the grocery store, buy toilet paper. End of story. <laughs> but what are you freaking out about? <sighs> Today at school, at lunch, Luke sort of well hinted that he was going to ask me to the school dance. Wait, what? This is huge news, Molly. What are you going to wear? How are you going to do your hair? Well, I thought I would just go as, well, me. But I think me might be kind of boring. <laughs> you can't go to the school dance looking like you. Ay, ay, ay. This is a big deal. You're about to have a boyfriend. Wait, what? A boyfriend? No one said anything about a boyfriend. We were just saying, like, you know... Um, that we might go to the dance, you know, as friends. Oh, come on. Get with the program. Luke has liked you for years. If he's talking about taking you to the dance or whatever, you're going to be his girlfriend. You're going to be his girlfriend. O-M-G. Hey, wait a minute. Does this mean if he's my boyfriend, he gets to boss me around and stuff? 
Um, no. Oh, okay, well, if he's my boyfriend, then I have extra pressure to look really, really cute at the school dance. Tell me about it. But don't worry, Molly, because I'm a fashionista, which means I can make you look perfection for this school dance. Well, he hasn't actually asked me yet. I was thinking that maybe I just needed to look really cute so that, you know, he really wants to ask me at school tomorrow. Okay, Molly, well, I can fix you for that, too. Okay, Molly, get into this Snapchat. We're about to do a before and then an after. Um, okay. You're going to look amazing. Don't worry, Molly. I got this all under control. Oh, look at me. I look adorable. I'm not even sure I need to change my hair or anything. Oh, my goodness. You definitely do. Whoa, I have a lot of snaps. Uh, what's this one? Sleeping. Someone sent me a Snapchat of them sleeping. Hey, I don't see anything. Were you actually even there? Oh, look, someone said with the squad. Why are none of my Snapchats coming through? What's wrong with this phone? I need a new iPhone. Oh, Molly, you didn't get any of them? No. Aw. Look at them all, and I can't even open them. I'm going to try opening this one. Yeah, I definitely need to get my phone fixed. Like, right now. This is this is Snapchat we're talking about. I need it! Well, first things first, let's give you that makeover. Okay, here goes nothing. Wait, is it makeover just like I brush my teeth? Like, every single day? Oh, we should be doing that anyway. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oopsie. Here's Molly before. Whoa, that's too close. Seriously too close. And here's Molly after. Holy macaroni and cheese! You look whoa, like a supermodel. I do? Yes, Molly, you look amazing. Now let's take off that homework show it and put on something really cute. Um, no. I love this no homework shirt. Too bad. You're not ruining my makeover. Your makeover? I thought I was getting the makeover. No, Molly. No, no, no. This is so about me. Huh? What? Okay. You say so. Imagine when I walk into school and everyone says, oh, who did that makeover for Molly? And I say, it was me. And everyone says, oh my God, you're amazing, Daisy. You're such a fashionista. Yeah. If it falls through that I'm a scientist, I could always open my own salon. Uh, if you say so, Daisy. Yeah, I do say so. I'm fabulous like that. Are you a new student? <laughs> My makeover worked. What? No. Molly? Is that you? Under all that makeup? Oh, you can't be my best friend. Makeover dreams complete. Doesn't she look fabulous? Rookie, are you okay? Do I need to call 911? Rookie! Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just a little bit lightheaded. I've never seen you look so well. Like a supermodel, Molly. What's the occasion? She has a crush on Luke and she wants him to ask her to the school dance. Daisy! Oh, loose lips sink ships. What? Never mind. She wasn't supposed to tell everybody that, but here we are with Daisy telling everybody that. Well, I'm your best friend, Molly, so your secret is safe with me. The only thing is, is if you're wanting to look really pretty, try not to fart so much. <laughs> Good idea. Better get it out now. <laughs> Molly! What? I had some eggs and some beans for breakfast. Ew, beans! I love beans. Beans, beans, can I just go first? The more you eat, the more you get to. Better get into class before we get into trouble. <gasps> There's Luke. Oh, uh, he must have came early and had breakfast here. He's so dreamy. Well, Molly, you know what to do. Pretend you're on the catwalk. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Walking and sneaking like a cat and meowing. What else did you want? Molly, catwalk is another word for runway for models. You don't actually act like a cat. 
Um, what if you're in that musical, Cats? Molly! Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm doing a terrible job here. Yes, yes, you are. Try again. <laughs> Molly, you cracked me up. Oh, my God. Is that the best she can do? I'm afraid so. Oh, man. Oh, boy. You can dress her out, but, well, she's still Molly. Whoa! Who's that girl? She's so cool. Wow, this is a long walk. And I'm walking like really weird, so eventually I'm gonna get there. Hey Luke, I'm coming! Molly, is that you? Yep, still walking there. Still still walking there. Still, still walking there. Okay, made it! Hey Luke! <laughs> Nice seeing you here at school, where we all have to come to get an education and, well, make friends and uh, get detention if you're me. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh my god, this is a disaster. I can't even watch. Uh, hey, Molly. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to you right now. Just say hello, Molly. Um, okay, I already said hello, but I'll say it again. Hi! <laughs> Why are you dressed like that? With your hair and some makeup and stuff. It's so um, weird. Weird? Who are you calling weird? I'm, I'm sorry. What are you doing? I'm hopping on one foot because that's what somebody weird would be doing. But I'm not weird just because I wanted to dress pretty. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, totally. I liked you the other way too, though, Molly. Oh, could you stop doing that? It's kind of distracting. Oh, yeah, sorry. Wait a minute, did you just boss me around? Huh, what? No, I mean, I mean, yeah, maybe a little. Daisy lied to me. Your boyfriend really is gonna boss you around. What, did you say boyfriend? No, I didn't say boyfriend. Did you, you said boyfriend, not me. Oh, what, oh, okay, if you say so. Um, Molly, uh, I'm really nervous. Just, man, you look really pretty and stuff, but I was wondering, um, do you wanna go to the dance with me? What? Well, um, yeah, I'll have to think about it. She'll go with you, Luke! Daisy? I'm trying to act cool. She'll go. Molly, don't ruin this moment. Oh, will you go with me? Yeah, sure. Um, I'll meet you at the dance about 7 o'clock. Sounds good, Molly. Bye-bye! Bye! I'm going to the dance with Luke! I'm going to the dance with Luke! Congratulations, Molly! I knew you wanted this. <laughs> but I have to tell you, <laughs> you sometimes act really weird. That's okay. I'm the weird, strict Molly! Molly, that's totally a different video. Yeah, you're right. Okay, students, please turn in your homework. Um, I don't have my homework. What? Why not? Well, because I did this makeover instead. That counts, right? No, you have detention. No, sorry, can't. I have the school dance tonight. <laughs> oh, school dance. Always getting in the way of detention. You have detention on Monday then. Fine. Fine by me. <laughs> I'm just not having detention tonight. I'm going to the dance with Luke. Molly, try to pay attention. I am. To the idea that I'm Luke's girlfriend. Ah. Yay! The bell rang. Oh, this is the longest math class ever. <laughs> I'm gonna send Luke a text and see if he wants to sit with me at lunch. Hey Luke, wanna sit with me at lunch? Yeah, I have to put like a little emoji. I really wanna put this heart, but I'm not really there yet. Oh, I wanna put that too. I'm just gonna put this one. Is he gonna write back? Why is he taking so long? What's happening? Does he not wanna take me to the school dance? Oh my god, I'm being so paranoid right now. I need to chill out. I can't? I have to practice drumming? But I thought we were, like, so cool with each other. He doesn't even want to sit with me at lunch? Seems weird. Hey, Molly, where's Luke? I thought you guys were going to sit next to each other at lunch. He can't. He's drumming. What? He's in the band with... Oh, no. Oh, no, what? In the band with who? He's in the band with the lead singer, Laurel. Laurel? Who's that? I don't know her. That's because she's two grades ahead of us. Ow! She's gorgeous, super talented, and she's a boyfriend stealer. Wait, what? What are you talking about? 
Sorry to make you paranoid, Molly, but if he's hanging out in the music room with Laurel, pretty sure he's not gonna take you to the dance. Huh? What? No. That can't be right! I'm just saying. Watch your boyfriend. Well, Molly, you wanna get some lunch? No! I need to go check on Luke and see what he's doing. Well, don't get caught, because he wouldn't like it if you're spying on him. Ugh. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I should just stay home from the dance. Don't be crazy, Molly! Just don't... Don't let that girl steal your boyfriend! What are they doing? They're not even practicing music. <laughs> you're so awesome. You're, you're gonna be great. Oh, thanks, Laurel. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Do you want to slow dance? What? What? Okay, I'm Snapchatting this because this is ridiculous. Really? He's hardly even been my boyfriend for like one day. And already, this girl is trying to steal him away from me? We've been friends since, like, preschool. OMG. They're, like, dancing together and having a great time. Oh, no. He doesn't want to take me to the dance. I just know it. Molly, over here. Sit with me. I, I, I don't even know what to say right now, Perky. You're right about everything. What? Are you serious? Laurel really is trying to steal Luke away from you? Uh-oh! Yeah, they were about to slow dance. OMG, Molly, I'm so sorry. Maybe you should go with someone else to the dance. Well, I don't know. Who, who else would go with me? Well, Steve really likes you. <gasps> Steve? Are you serious? Come on, Molly. <laughs> I know he's a little, well, weird, but you could try to make Luke jealous. Yeah! That's exactly what I'll do. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Molly. I know I look a lot different on this Snapchat, but it's because I got an amazing makeover and I feel so beautiful. And I am going with this really cool guy to the school dance. His name is Steve and we've known each other for a while now, but yeah, it's going to be so much fun. Mm-hmm, totally. I'm gonna send this to everybody in school, including Luke. We'll see what he thinks about that. No, no, Luke, try dancing like this. This is what all the girls think is amazing. Uh, not this dance? No, not that one. Oh, hold on, I think I just got a snap. It's from Molly. What? She's going with Steve to the dance? Why? This stinks! Well, I don't understand why she would do that. I'm gonna send her a text and ask her what's going on. Oh look, a text from Luke. Wow, his spelling is terrible. Steve's spelling is so much better. Well, I mean, he is a nerd, but he's a smart guy. Why aren't you going with me, bro? Ooh. Maybe because you call me bro, first of all. Um, because you are hanging out with Laurel. Oh look, dot, dot, dot. Let's see what he says about this. How's he gonna deny it? I'm not hanging out with her? What? Liar! Oh. Dot, dot, dot. Here we go again. What's he gonna say now? No, seriously, I'm not? <gasps> I saw you with my own eyes. Rude. Lies to say just that I'm turning off my phone i don't want to talk to him anymore i'm going to the dance with steve and i'm not even sure i want to make luke jealous he seems rude i am so excited about going to the dance with steve it's gonna be amazing wait who's coming oh my god it's luke and laurel i've gotta hide hey thanks for um you know teaching me all that Teaching him what? How to be a liar? Oh, no problem, Luke. You're a really cool guy. <laughs> Whoever gets to be your girlfriend is really lucky. What? What did she just say? I'm your girlfriend, so I'm really lucky? Oh, that's it. Oh, look. There's Steve. <laughs> In his Bentley. Wow. <laughs> Hi, Molly. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me to this school dance. <laughs> I brought you some flowers. Um, 
Gee, um, thanks. <laughs> I hope you're not allergic like I am. Um, no, I'm not allergic. Uh, thank you. Come on, let's go into the dance. I hear music and, and, well... You wanna boogie down? <laughs> so am I! <laughs> Look, there's Laurel with her boyfriend! <gasps> what? I don't wanna see her with Luke. That'll break my heart. <laughs> Luke? <laughs> Obviously you're not on the school paper where we tell all the gossip of the school. <laughs> Look at who she's with! What? She's with Tommy? Uh oh! He's floating. I think he might be part vampire. Which is just perfect for Laurel since she's the lead singer of the school band. <laughs> um, well then, where's Luke? I don't know. <laughs> I thought he was going with you. But turns out, you just wanted to hang out with a sweetie pie like me. <laughs> I am quite the catch. <laughs> My mom even said so. Uh-huh, yeah, sure. Okay, I'm going to go get a... Uh, some punch. Bye! There's Luke. I have to spy on him with my Snapchat. Yeah, that'll be the definitely good thing to do. Does that mean, what's he doing over there sitting by himself? And he looks so sad. Hey, Molly, instead of Snapchatting everything, why don't you just come talk to me? I would, but everything you say is a lie. A lie! Molly, I'm not lying to you. <laughs> Laurel, where's your date? You're a good dancer. Uh, yeah, he had to run to the bathroom. You're cute. Wow, Brookie was right. Laurel does try to steal everyone's boyfriend. Seriously, Molly, why did you dump me and not come to the dance with me and you came with Steve? Uh, sorry, I keep, like, wanting to sit down because this Roblox game always makes me do that. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Don't make me laugh right now. I'm mad at you. Well, I'm mad at you. You lied to me. You, you were hanging out with Laurel. Hanging out with her. I was taking a dance lesson. What? A dance lesson? Why? So you could impress her at the dance? No, Molly. So I can impress you at the dance. You look so beautiful and amazing and perfect and, and you're my best friend. And I just wanted to know how to dance because I don't. And I thought maybe you wouldn't like me if I didn't. <gasps> Say what? You were taking a dance class with Laurel? Yeah, she's been dancing, like, since she was, like, five. She's a really good dancer, and I just really wanted to impress you. Are you lying to me right now? <laughs> you are! I'll expose you on Snapchat! No, Molly, I'm being for real. <gasps> I really like you. You're my best friend. I wouldn't want to come to the dance with anyone, even though you came with Steve. Ow! Only to make you jealous! Wait, what? You were trying to make me jealous? Yeah, I like you too! Well, then I guess there's only one thing to do. What's that? Do the zombie dance together. Wait, I thought you took dance classes. Are you lying about that? No, I just really like the zombie dance. Come on, Molly. You know you want to. Well, I guess if you can't beat him, then join him. Brains! Brains! You better head towards Steve, then. He's got the biggest brain in the entire school dance. <laughs> yeah. But I don't think he's even missing me. Him and Laurel seem like, well, they really like each other. Who would have thought? La 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 la, love this song. <laughs> me too. <laughs> and I think I fell in love with you. <laughs> yeah, don't get too attached. I'm probably just going to find a new boyfriend in like five seconds. Really? You'll break this nerd's heart. Sorry, it's just the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Hey guys, there's a lot of dishes to do over here. Would anyone like to help me? P please? Sorry, honey, but this awesome show is on and it's <laughs> super funny. Hey, we were supposed to watch that together as a family. Well, Mom, it turns on at exactly 7 o'clock and you're still doing dishes, so sorry you have to miss out. Ooh. Mm, annoying. I finally got baby Kira down for the night. Now I can get some vacuuming done. Um, girls, would you mind picking up all of your stuff? Uh, Mom, uh, we're eating a snack right now. Who works in Molly? You're eating a giant snack. Molly? Wow. Oh, that was the ham that I was going to use for tomorrow night's dinner. Sorry, Mom. It looked like it'd make a delicious sandwich. <laughs> Boy, was I right. 
Okay, well, the show is off now. Maybe you guys can help me pick up a little bit, you know, after you eat that giant sandwich, Molly. I'm kind of feeling hungry for a sandwich, too. Would you make me one, honey? Uh, uh, Please, I'm so hungry. Me too! You guys hardly ate any of your dinner. That's because, well, um, it was kind of... What she he's trying to say is, bleh! It was gross! Ew. Oh, Molly, I wasn't gonna say it that way. Fine, I'll make you all snacks since my dinner was so gross. Are you guys happy now? Mmm, this popcorn's delicious. Mmm. Dad and I are eating sandwiches that are bigger than us. I see that. Mmm. <laughs> it's so good with the mustard. Mmm. Kira woke up again. Honey, is baby Kira okay? Yeah, she just needs another bottle. Wow, that kid is an eating machine. Yeah, she must be having a growth spurt. Finally, the kids are in bed, so now I can play some video games. Video games? Ugh, I don't get to have that downtime. Why not? You just have to take it. Yeah, apparently. But I don't have time to take it. I didn't get the chance to mow the grass today. You're gonna mow the grass at 9 o'clock at night? I don't see where I have a choice. Everything has to get done. Adulting. Ugh. This has been the longest day of my life. Ugh. Is that the sun coming up? Did I mow the grass all night long? Oh my gosh. Today is going to be now the longest day ever. Ooh. Hey, there you are. Mom, we're just waiting for breakfast. Um, You're five minutes late. What? I was up all night doing chores and mowing the grass and, and, and now you want breakfast? Uh, yeah, you are mom. Uh, of course we do. Oh! <laughs> no need to cry, Mom. Just make breakfast for us, please. Yeah, honey, we're starving. That's it. I have had enough. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I'm not feeling so good. <gasps> what? Honey, are you okay? Uh-oh! No. I have to go sit on the couch. Oh, oh no! Who's gonna make us breakfast? You'll have to make them breakfast. But I always burn the toast in the toaster. Sorry, honey, but I think, um, I need to run to the bathroom. Mom? Oh, that was the garage. Oh, what am I doing? Where's my bathroom? Honey, are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, I'm just gonna fake throwing up. Here we go. Blech! Honey, are you throwing up? Now, I have to grab some pillows off of the bed. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> never know. Honey, are you okay? I'm just not feeling well. I'm gonna lay in bed. Honey, are, are you feeling okay? Do you have the stomach bug? It's it's the morning. You're, you're supposed to be getting up now. I know, I just don't feel well. I feel like I did when I was pregnant with baby Kira. <gasps> Wait, what? What's that bump underneath the blankets? Honey, can you get out of bed for a minute? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Honey, why are you laying in bed? It's almost time for, for work. I, I, uh, uh, I, 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 uh. <laughs> You're really struggling today, even more than me. Uh, are you okay? Oh, he's planking. Um, yeah. Uh, honey, you are taking a nap when you're not in bed. I think you might be, well, freaking out. Yeah, y y you look pregnant. Oh, well, maybe I should take a test. So, honey, what were the results? What happened? Well, I went into the bathroom and took a test and, well, yes, I'm pregnant. Oh, this is actually amazing news. I'm going to be dad again. Ah! You sure are. Wait, what? <gasps> Another baby? I hope it's a boy this time. What are you girls eating for breakfast? Hot dogs. It's all dad could make. 
What? All you have to do is put the hot dog in the microwave. It's breakfast, okay? La 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 gonna be a dad. Oh yeah, gonna be a dad again. Oh yeah, gonna be a dad. Wait a minute, diapers? So many diapers? I don't think about that. I'm gonna be a dad again. I'm gonna be a dad. Well, now that I'm pregnant, obviously I can't do all this work around here. Wait, what? <gasps> what? What? That's right, you guys are gonna have to do all the cooking, all the cleaning. I'm just gonna have to sit here and rest. But honey, but, but... No buts. Pregnant mom needs to rest. Gotta take good care of baby. Okay, we'll try our best to do everything around here, right girls? Well, we'll try. Uh oh Wow, this is a ton of work. I know, tell me about it. Look at all these dishes. Mm-hmm. Tell me about it. Honey, um, can I wash these white socks with this uh red shirt? No, absolutely not. Didn't you ever learn how to do laundry? Not really. First my mom did my laundry, and then you! Well, and now's the perfect time to figure it out. Mom, I'm making the grocery list. Is there anything you would like? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'd like some chocolate ice cream. I would like some peanut butter cupcakes. Wow! I would like some chocolate chip cookies. Whoa, can't tell you're pregnant or anything. <laughs> Gonna put on about 100 pounds this time, huh? What? I will not! Oh, whoops, wrong thing to say. Gotta take the trash out, bye! Who locked the door? I gotta get out of here! My wife's gonna, she's gonna kill me! <laughs> Mom, um, so what else do you need for the groceries? Ah, uh, just those things, surprise me with the rest. Wow, it's been like nine months since I faked my pregnancy. I guess I better stick some more pillows in there so it looks more accurate. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do just fine. Honey, I'm home from work. Where are you? Oh, I was just in here taking a nap, you know, resting for the baby. Whoa, there you are. Oh, my God. What's going on with your stomach? What do you mean? <laughs> you know I'm in my final trimester. Honey, I think you might be having twins or maybe an alien. That's a giant stomach. Oh, I just want to touch the babies inside your tummy. No, 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 no. No touching my tummy. <laughs> the babies won't like that. Babies? Do you know something that I don't? Yes, honey. I went to the doctor today. I'm having twins. Ah! Oh, my God. I know, honey. Don't freak out too much. Come on, let's go have dinner. Mm. This light bulb needs changing. I'm still doing dishes nine months later. Uh -oh. Everybody, you're eating off of paper plates from now on. Holy macaroni and cheese. Look at the baby bump. Oh my God. Mom, you're going to have like five babies in there. Maybe they're puppies. <laughs> Daisy, mom can't have puppies. Well, that's what they look like when a mom and dog's going to have like 15 babies. Okay, okay, quit teasing your mom about her big fat tummy. What? No, it's the old baby. It's all baby. Okay, let's have dinner, everybody. Uh, Dad, are you making us dinner? Yeah, Dad, are you making us dinner? Oh, no, not again. <laughs> oh, I don't seem to fit between the chair and the, and the table. <laughs> My baby bump is squished. Be careful, honey. If you slam their heads up against the table, you might give them brain damage. You better sit on the couch. Okay. Here you go, honey. A nice, nutritious meal for the babies. I even put some cookies on there. Ooh, watermelon. My favorite. Man, these pillows in my shirt are so uncomfortable. Ugh, and I shouldn't have eaten so many Oreos for dessert. Oh, my stomach really hurts. Well, honey, did, did you say your stomach really hurt? No, no, honey, go back to sleep. I'm fine. No, honey, I can't go back to sleep. It's been nine months and your stomach hurts. You know what this means. Come on, we have to go to the hospital. I didn't think about this part where I'd have to go to the hospital and actually have the babies. 
What are you talking about? Of course you're gonna have to have our twins. <laughs> That's why you've been sitting around for nine months. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh, sure. L let's go. Oh, I can't get up. The babies are too heavy. I'll just have to stay here. Honey, seriously, get out of bed. We have to go. Come on, honey. Sit down in this wheelchair. I don't think I need that. I'm feeling fine. It was probably just a fart. <laughs> no, it's not a fart. The babies are coming. Come on. We have to get you inside. Ooh, I can barely move this wheelchair. You've put on a lot of weight with this pregnancy. What? No, no, I haven't. Honey, look at your tummy. Of course you have. Get out of the way. Pregnant woman on board. Twin babies. Honey, I think that I'm just fine. Like, I, I don't think that I'm pregnant anymore. Honey, you're so pregnant you don't even fit into the elevator. I don't think so. What? But, no, I, I think it just might have all been gas. For nine months and your stomach looking like that? I don't think so. You're having these babies, whether you like it or not. Who's this kid? Are you an intern? No, I'm your doctor. Wow. Now, what seems to be the issue? What do you mean, what seems to be the issue? Can you not look at her stomach? She's about to have babies. Okay, miss, no jumping around. Where are you going? <gasps> I don't think I need to have babies anymore. She's lost her mind. The babies are made her crazy or something. <laughs> Honey, get in here. You have to go into the labor room. Oh, God. How am I going to get out of this now? I mean, oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm not actually pregnant. What am I going to do? Okay, I'm just going to examine your tummy a little bit. Please hold still, Miss Acker. <laughs> your stomach feels very funny. Let me give it a little push here. <laughs> <laughs> a little pregnancy gas, I see. See? I, I don't need to have babies. I just had to fart. That's all. Honey, quit being so ridiculous. You're going to have twins. It's going to be okay. You've had, you've had, you know, other kids. You're going to be fine. Hmm. Your tummy seems very peculiar. Uh, Mr. Acker, would you go get some coffee, please? It's going to be a pretty long night, I think. Are you going to be okay, honey? Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> the doctor will take good care of me. Okay, now that he's gone, spill. Ow! I can see that there's just pillows stuffed up your shirt. Well, um, um, let me guess. He overworks you at home and your kids don't help or pitch in. Yeah? How did you know? I see this with women at least three times a week. <laughs> now... I'm just going to tell your husband that it was a giant gas bubble that's been trapped in your stomach for nine months. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll just emphasize that he doesn't have to change any dirty diapers. Oh, thank you. You're the best doctor ever. Honey, did you have the baby while I was out getting coffee? You weren't supposed to do that. Where is the baby? Um, Mr. Acker, we need to have a conversation. <laughs> Oh. oh, what? Did, wait, why is that cat in here? Did you give birth to a cat? What? Honey, have you lost your mind? Of course I didn't give birth to a cat. Oh, it's an angry cat. Kind of glad it's not our kid. Mr. Acker, your wife had a serious case of gas bubble. <gasps> wait, what? Where, where's my twin babies? There are no twin babies, honey. I just really had to fart. Wait, what? But, 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 you little names have picked them all. Well, Mr. Acker, just think about it. No dirty diapers, no added expenses. This is going to save you so much time and money that it was just a fart. Honey, that was a big fart. I mean, <laughs> you could have just taken some gas X at any point in the nine months. Mr. Acker, I think your wife mm, probably got intense bouts of gas because she was forced to do all the work at home. That would give anybody indigestion. Uh oh! Oh, I, I didn't think about it like that. Uh, I'm sorry, honey. That's okay. You can make it up to me by getting me some flowers, getting me some DoorDash, and starting to help more around the house. Don't worry, honey. I will. But do you still want to have twins? Um, we'll think about it. Thanks, doctor! You're a real lifesaver.